ideas that challenge us, move us forward, or maybe make us appreciate what we already have. But a society that, that shuns the marketplace of ideas is destined to decline as bad ideas snowball into dangerous ones. largely fallen along political lines and people are holding fast to narratives, not science. In a polarized world where the narrative reigns supreme, facts and evidence are often cast aside. Media reports only uh, the information that feeds our fears and generates clicks. Investigative reporting is rare. Medical professionals who challenge the prevailing views are often quickly sidelined, their videos taken down, their professional regulators called upon to punish them. This is dangerous to a free society. It is critically important that you continue to speak up, but I implore you to be scrupulous in presenting your facts and evidence, not narratives. Check your sources before you share articles and posts. Make sure the best evidence is being put forward. There's no need to share misinformation. The facts are compelling enough. Here are a few. Here are a few facts. I'm happy to provide sources if you need them from government websites. Ontario has 14.4 million people of whom 115,000 die every single year. Almost 10,000 Ontarians die each month. More than 2,000 every single week. So why are 3,500 COVID-19 deaths since March more sad or more tragic than the other 111,500 deaths this year? non-COVID deaths will be caused by lockdown measures such as suicides, delayed cancer diagnoses, missed surgeries, drug overdoses, while COVID-19 deaths make up only 3% of the total. I think about Jerry Dunham, the 46-year-old father of two little girls whose pacemaker surgery was deemed non-essential this spring while hospitals sat largely empty waiting for the COVID influx that never came. just before Father's Day after expressing worry on Facebook he might become another statistic. He did. In Alberta, the, the Kenny government has provided more granular data on its COVID page. From there we can see that the average age of death from COVID is 82. The average